Yes, and today is a great day to be in the water. And right now we're off of our Bayfront Marina homestead. We're heading off to a new adventure, a Christ of the Abyss. So it's gonna be a fun ride. And yes, we're taking along a few friends and their kids to have, you know, the more the merrier to have a good time. And right now we're riding to the channel. He loves being on camera. No, thank you. Okay, right now we're riding on the bay. Actually, we're coming in through the cut of Caesars Creek and uh, we're just uh, enjoying the scenery and a nice ride. Cause it's a perfect, beautiful, sunny day. Even the dog is having fun. Yeah, we couldn't ask for a better day. And uh, yeah, the water is al almost flat. I mean, it's great. We're enjoying the ride and it should be about an hour, an hour and 10 minute ride from uh, Bayfront Marina to the Christ of the Abyss. I've never been here before, but I heard a lot of uh, great things about it. And I also seen videos on it on YouTube. I mean, the place looks gorgeous and I always wanted to go. So my friend yeah, and, and I decided that, you know, it's a beautiful day today. So let's, let's go on and, and, you know, go on for the ride and, and explore the place. So, I mean, the kids enjoyed it. They have, you know, they have fun, you know, come along with their friends and, you know, it's just, it's just a fun ride. You get to see things that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. And uh, right now we're, we're looking for the spot because, like I said, I've never been here before, so it's kind of tricky. There's no, I know it's, it's in a protected reef, so we're kind of just looking around to follow where all the boats are at. And yes, finally, we found it. We found it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's so far, I think here it's about 30 feet deep. So I guess we're gonna, it's going to be nice to see. And here, you cannot anchor. You can only tie up to the buoys. So we got to find an empty buoy. But yeah, you gotta protect yourself, especially when you're on the sun all the time. And it's time to jump in. This is gonna be my kids' first time diving in an open reef. So it's gonna be exciting for them, and uh, hopefully they're they're gonna enjoy it. Cause I mean we're a re we're a nature lover, so. Well, everybody's in the water. I'm eating my boiled eggs. He wants a fish to chew and take me. He wants to get rid of me. Let's hold hands. <sighs> Hold up to the raft. Yes, as soon as we jumped in, it was just beautiful. It was a lot of uh, water, underwater life. I mean, it was yellowtails. I don't know what the, the, the silver fishes are called. There was actually even a barracuda, and there was also a, a humongous mutton snapper that it was lingering around the bottom, I guess, to see what was all the commotion. And yeah, my friend dove about, this reef here is about 30 feet. So he went all the way to the bottom and grabbed the sand. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I, I couldn't go all the way down because I guess I wasn't decompressing correctly. So we grabbed the kids and started swimming towards the Christ. Uh, it was like about a 30 yard swim, more or less, because uh, we got here kind of late. It was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So there was already boats here. The lucky thing was there wasn't that much current, so the kids didn't have a problem swimming, you know, towards the, the, the Christ. The closer we got to the statue, the more beautiful it looked. The statue tent stands up about nine feet tall, and I think the, the depth of the ground is about 30 feet, more or less. But I mean, it was just gorgeous to see, you know, all the fishes and, and the underwater life around the, the statue itself. And I think the statue, I'm not sure. I think the bottom is concrete, but I think the actual statue itself is maybe out of bronze because in one of the fingers, I know that it was metal. 
but I'm not sure that I didn't do research. But I mean, it was just a beautiful place. If you like diving and snorkeling, this is a must come see place. I mean, I was impressed. Joel went and he was one of the first ones to touch the, the Christ, and it was just a beautiful thing to see. have uh, expeditions here that uh, I don't know how much they cost but I think they come out of John Penny Camp or Key Largo and they'll come and provide you with uh, snorkeling gear and there was actually two boats here so by the, the later afternoon there was more people more people here you know diving to see the Christ even the youngest one dove down with my friend and she even touched the Christ I mean it was it's something that they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives because it's such a pretty place My little one dove down and touched the Christ and this is something she's always going to remember and share with her family and friends. and diving and just seeing everything around the Christ and uh, yeah there was just a lot of people now because another dive boat came with more people so we decided to go ahead and um, start heading back because we had like a, you know, like a 30 yard swim and now we're going to be swimming against the current but it wasn't that bad anyway and uh, yeah we were getting kind of hungry too. Yeah, what a better way to refresh after eating lunch than with a nice cold watermelon. And yeah, while well, we were um, enjoying the little snack and lunch, uh, the kids kept on talking about all the fishes and all the things that they saw in the water. And uh, it was just a great experience. Like I said, if you like diving and snorkeling, this is a must come see place. Uh, I mean, the place is beautiful. There's a lot of uh, underwater life that you actually could see right from the boat because uh, we threw a few chips and uh, and food overboard oh, and they, yeah, yeah. the fishes just went uh, crazy. They were actually even eating watermelon. To to so it was pretty nice to see and uh, we had a great time here. Okay, now we're heading to our second destination. So there's actually a part two to this video. So I would like to thank everybody for watching and subscribing. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. But you know, just remember, think about life, just keep having fun.